what's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to look at some 8K Canon R5 footage. And what we're going to do is we're going to crop in on this footage and see how it holds up. The footage was provided to us by No Film School, so thank you to them for providing the footage. So what you're going to see here is our first shot is we're going to go ahead and do a pretty tight crop on this candy manufacturing facility. So we're going to do a Ken Burns effect. And I did speed up the uh, while we were waiting for it to render. And here we're looking at it full screen. This is within Fi Final Cut Pro. So you will see uh, a little bit of stuttering because it's just in the playback window. But we will see it in full resolution at the end of this video. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do our next shot now. Our next shot is gonna be the skyline. And we're gonna go ahead and crop it in here. Pretty tight. You wouldn't be able to do these tight crops in 4K and forget 1080p, but this just brings a whole new level of filmmaking because you can really, as long as your shot is that that shot is in focus and the part you're cropping in on, you can do some fantastic things. I am really excited about this camera for this. I know a lot of people are talking about other aspects of the camera, but this is a game changer. This is like having multiple cameras. The ability to crop in like this is golden. This is something you never were able to do before. You could do it, but you were cropping in and you got a soft 720p image. This is fantastic. And uh, this is what I'm most excited about. And a lot of people, they're not talking about this and they should be because this is the most exciting part, at least for me. And look at this. And like I said, wait till we look at it at the end of the video because you're gonna see it in its full resolution uh, and it looks really, really good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do another one here. Uh, I think uh, we're just gonna do a crop on this one and see how that looks. So let's go ahead and crop in on some skyscrapers because pretty much everything back there is in focus. So let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, and like I said, you're seeing um, almost no rendering here, but um, it does take a while for this MacBook Pro to render these because uh, they are in 8K. But it handles this 24P uh, IPB footage no problem. It really has no problem with it whatsoever. So you can see there, there is our tight shot and it looks great. Um, of course, we will see the full rendering at the end of this video uh, and talk about that. Uh, okay, I think we have time for one more. Let's go ahead and do one more. I think we'll do another Ken Burns. Uh, I like doing those. So maybe we'll crop in on the right side of the skyline here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do it really tight. So let's see how this looks. This is a crazy crop. So let's see how this one turns out. I'm really excited to see how this one will do because that is a pretty tight crop. Uh, that's not something you'd want to do in 4K. It's just going to look really bad. Your footage is not going to match. But here, it looks really good. Look at that. That looks pretty awesome. Yep. I got to say, I'm telling you, I am really excited for this camera. Uh, you know, the Sony sounds really good too, the a7 uh, uh, S3, but it only shoots 4K. And the thing is, 8K is for these type of shots. So let's go ahead and look at, so this is the 8K footage, uh, and I did upload it in 8K on YouTube. So even if you're looking at it at, in 4K, you are going to see the highest bit rate um, well, I think one of the highest that you can see on uh, YouTube uh, because it's going to down, it's going to, it's going to take in a bigger file. So you can see there the candy manufacturing facility looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and look at the next shot, uh, the next shot of the skyline and see how that one looks and, um, and see how that can burn looks. So here we go, and it does look really, really good. Even, even when it's maxed out there, it's hard to tell. Um, I mean, obviously, if you're looking, I mean, nobody's looking at this on an 8K monitor, at least I don't think so, but when you see it in 4K, it looks really good. So guys, there's my quick look at what you can do with you know punching in or cropping in on the footage. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check back on my channel, and have a wonderful day.